CrowdStrike SKO 2023. Kicking off their MedPIC initiative, talking to 3,000 people, one big stage and one big moment. But that was then. Let's fast forward to this year when CrowdStrike invited us back. This year, it was different though. We had multiple sessions on multiple stages across multiple days. It was a bigger job, bigger than I could handle alone. I was going to need some backup. Sunday morning, slides for the keynotes from Andy last night. Uh, this looks epic and very excited to be part of this. So, um, yeah, let's go. Got two or three hours now before my flight, so just going to chill out for a little bit, try and catch up on a bit of work before we board and uh, tuck into these wings. I called Pim, our CRO, and producer Nick to come along too. Yes, boys. How are you doing, mate? All good, all good. Yeah. Right, Pim, got something to show you. Kind of a lot of work's gone into it. You know how we were talking about how you know we did the kickoff last year, they did the masterclass, you know, a number of like bits of training with us. They're gonna be like, oh no, more med big training. So we wanted to kind of grab that and make kind of light of it, call it out, and then make it a bit more interesting. You know we've got this year we've got the GTA theme. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the GTA rap from the first ever game? Yeah, I mean that goes way back, but I think I remember some of it, yeah. I uh, might have done a version of. Well, you mean with you as a rapper? Yeah. <laughs> That's it? I mean, <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, shoot. Here we go again. More med pick training. Hotel downtown, crowd stacks all around. George cut number four, got the wheel in his hands to overcome any bursary that gets in the way. Just never trust your hearts on the freeway. Riding with me, it's my SC home. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy demos, I'm building up the building. Hey, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good, man. The sessions are somewhere at some point in the afternoon, right? So something like this to get like energy high at the very beginning. So I'm, I'm really excited about getting this onto the big screen. Uh, Andy and Pim at the moment are going through their presentation and I'm trying to be really conspicuous but I think they can hear me. Um, they're going through, they're going through final preparations for the big SKO tomorrow in their natural habitat. Two, two Neanderthals. Obviously this is quite a significant trip for you Pimo. Mm. coming out to, to Vegas and, and doing this one. Yeah, absolutely, because like how, how often do you get, you know, uh, a flight out to a place like Vegas for work purposes and then you feel the responsibility and kind of the pressure that comes along with that to deliver, right? And, and it's only like a four, 45 minute slot, like a couple of times, and we want to do the best job possible. So it's easy to get lost in, in that pressure and that responsibility and kind of cut yourself short from enjoying any of it, right? So I think it's important to, to recognize that for what it is. You've actually got your family here yep. uh, this time around as well. The kickoff for CrowdStrike last year was the same week, therefore it fell on Hugo's birthday. And, you know, as a parent, you never want to be away for anything, any kind of big day, let alone a kid's birthday. He, he mentioned it at least once a month, Daddy, you're not going to be away for my birthday this year, you're not going to be away for my birthday this year. Make me pinky promise. That I wasn't going to be away. So when Crown Strike called and said, <laughs> We want you back, I was like, Ah! Good morning from a rather rainy Las Vegas. Thank you for my coffee, guys. Cheers. Yes, sir. Sir, so I'm so sorry I'm late. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah. Don't be late again. So sorry. <laughs> and um, uh, I, I hope it's right. This is the wrong shade of coffee. Something that, that Andy always does is like he puts the bar very high, right? In terms of like quality of content and, and delivery, so. I don't take cues from TED Talks or books about how to present PowerPoint or anything like that. I take my cues from the best people in the world at 
capturing people's attention, the best people in the world at storytelling. Um, a great result by the end of this day and then repeating it another six times tomorrow. <laughs> Cheers mate, take care. When you push yourself into like, what I would class as like higher and higher levels of like delivery and value, you know, every, every time you do something that's a lot better than the last time, you kind of unlock new levels of entertainment, new levels of engagement, new levels of creativity. I don't know, like I just last ran through the deck about literally about 10 minutes ago and I was still finding things I was unhappy with. So I don't think I'll ever be happy, but I, I, I don't think it's a case of being a perfectionist. Yeah, no, it went alright, I think. Um, apart from the obvious, I sound like I've smoked about 40 Marlboro Red. Um, but it means I can do a mean Arthur Shelby impression. Why all your beaky blinders? See? So, uh, how proud are you of this guy for powering through with his uh, horse oh, tones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, proud as ever. Wait, what are we doing now? Honey and lemon. Houston, we have a problem. And that problem is the voice of the Great White. As you will have seen yesterday from the first session, uh, Andy was obviously battling his voice throughout, but it hasn't calmed down. And uh, the consensus is that um, it, it might even be getting worse because he's got a minimum of four sessions to deliver today. Uh, and you kind of need your voice if you're going to be doing keynote presentations. How's the patient? Yeah, let's go and find out. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I don't want to jinx anything, but not great is, is the, the answer. Not great felt like an understatement. A speaker needs their voice the same way a quarterback needs their arm. What's all this about? This is a lot of honey and a lot of lemon. By this point, I was about 50% honey and lemon, 40% cold and flu meds, and only about 10% Andy. Despite all of that, my voice started to give up on me. How could it be that after hundreds of hours of preparation, practicing, that the single thing I needed was coming under attack from some mild cold that seemed to be focusing its efforts entirely on my vocal cords? Honestly, everything about MedPick, I think there's so many key takeaways. You know, each Part of it is so instrumental to how you can have a successful deal cycle and opportunity close and being able to get all the resources and people involved early on in the process. I think it's just critical to be able to move that deal uh, forward. Key takeaways, I mean, just like everything about it, I guess, you know, it's just so cool. Amazing, thank you so much. Thank you, Nick. There's a quick story of, of how I came across Matic, but most importantly, why I believe, I believe in Matic. I, this guy's a real deal. Last uh, last year when I met Andy for the first time, it just so happened that I had my medic book with me. Um, so of course I had him I had him sign it and, and autograph it. But it, it's been it's been surreal. Appreciate it. Yeah, how proud are you of this guy? Yeah, you know mega. what journey you guys have been on together, mega. right? Well, yeah, you got to think about it. Like this time last year, we've kind of accomplished together. You know, key goat one. Pim crushed it. Like, if you think about what I'm saying, that today was harder than last year in that massive theater. Um, it just says, what a great job you did, dude. Thank you, dude. Give each other a cuddle, go nah. on. Brilliant, uh, now kiss. <laughs> Giga 2 is a wrap. Started as a major new challenge as we had to run so many sessions and to get Pim into Kigo readiness. But if that wasn't enough of a challenge for us, we had to deal with me losing my voice too. 
Despite all of that, I'm so proud of him stepping up and taking to the stage. I'm grateful to all our friends at CrowdStrike, particularly those that powered me up with their energy to pull me through each session. And most of all, I'm grateful to my son, Hugo, for sacrificing his birthday party for a trip to Vegas. Thank you, little buddy. Until the next time, may your champions be strong.